Driven TV with your boy LaShawn Taylor. Man, yo, I'm excited for this video. Yo, I'm so excited for this video. I don't know if you guys seen way back in February, I bought my wife a pair of Nike Vapor Max. They were pink and green, and I, you know, she didn't have anything to really wear with it, but you know, it was a, they were nice. I'm, I'm sure I'm sneakers are hard. Sneakers was dope, but she didn't have anything to really wear with it. So I took it upon myself to come up with an idea to make sure that she had at least a shirt she can match it up with. So what I did was I made a a personalized Nike t-shirt that read hair. Just slay. Yo, the joint was fire. The joint was fire, man. That joint got so much love. That joint got so much love. So here we are today. I'm actually gonna make another video showing how I created that idea. And everything was made on my phone. You already know how I get down, man. But yo, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Y'all make me excited to just wanna continue to just create more content, more videos. And let me know what you guys wanna see. But yo, we gonna go ahead and get started in this video. Let's get it, baby. All right, family. So. The apps that I use when I'm creating on my phone are all in this section right here. I use Pixar. Pixar is the main app that I use. That's that's like uh that's my brother right there. You know, Google's our best friend, Pixar's our brother, right? And Fonto is the app that I use in order to make the Nike look alike shirt all the nike stuff that i make that's the app that i use fonto magic eraser is what i use to get transparent background so all of these work hand in hand i'll go from one app to the next to the next to the next all right so what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and go on safari I'm gonna go google well you don't really have to type google but type in google and what am I looking for? Nike em emblem or symbol, whichever you choose. All right, and this one is actually already transparent, so we're gonna go ahead and add that to the photos. All right, after we get that image, we're going back here to Fonto. All right, what we're gonna do is start with a plain image click white you can leave the diameters at what it's already at what I like to do is make sure that it's white so I'll go and tap the white icon I don't know why they don't have it all the way white but yeah I do that every single time and then we're gonna go ahead and press use all right then we're gonna go ahead and go to our images go to our photos that's our transparent Nike symbol gonna go ahead and size it up size it up you want to make sure that it's in, in perfectly centered in the middle all right so the Nike, the nike logo the the font well let me i'm, I'm making a shirt for my wife so we're gonna put slay on it you know that's four four letters just like the nike word and the font that is used is Futura Condensed Extra Bold. All right, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and use. And then go ahead and size it up. Size it up, size it up. I'll go to about 260. All right, so to make it look like the Nike symbol, what we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go back to style again. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Pick the style button, pick spacing. We're gonna get the spacing to about negative three. Negative three for our spacing. And then we're gonna go ahead and 
do 3D. After we hit 3D, we want to make sure that we kind of angle it the way that the Nike symbol is angled. Yeah, this, this works for me. Make everything at a slant, make sure it's perfectly aligned. That makes it look a lot more like the Nike symbol. All right, so after you slant it like that, now we're gonna go with the, well, Nike says just do it. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna say just do it. Slay, just do it. I could say just work it. Just do it, just work it. Should I do do it or work it? What y'all think? What y'all think? Do it or work it. Slay, just work it. Kind of been making me want to change the words a little bit. But uh, I'm going to keep it the same. Slay. All right. And with the Nike, we're going to go ahead and cut the spacing out again. We'll go with negative five. Because with the regular Nike symbol, just do a sign, it is pretty much the, the letters are almost touching. All right, I'm going to size it down just a little bit. Let me see. All right. I'm going to go at 110. 110 looks like a decent size. Slay. Just do it. And here's our, here's our Nike. Let me see the uh, spacing one more time. Let me see if negative four looks better than negative. I'm, oh, forgot my period, hold on. And negative four spacing looks a lot better. So here's what we got with our Nike symbol. After getting this, what we're gonna go ahead and do, screenshot it. When you screenshot the image, I'd rather screenshot the images over saving them because from my experience, it looks like screenshotting them, you get a cl much clearer vision. All right, we're gonna go ahead and align that up like that. Save it. Go to our other app, Magic Eraser. Your dream home, it's uh, out there. Who else hates ads on their phones? I'm tired of all these apps getting ads. All right. Click our photo. And we're going to take out the background. Go inside the letter, get the A, get the D, get the O. And now it's transparent. You're going to hit the right. Transparent background. High resolution, of course. And then we got that. So I actually do have the Cricut app, Cricut Design Space app on my phone. And it just makes the process a whole lot quicker. So new project, upload, select from photo library, our recently saved transparent. Let's hit next again, and it's perfect. Hit next. Save it as Slay Nike. Press cut. Save. And it's automatically in our uploads. And it'll automatically appear on your computer in your Cricut Design Space uploads. So that's how we do that. All right, guys. So before I uh, hop on the laptop, I got my t-shirt right here. Well, my wife's t-shirt. This is a Bell and Canvas Small. Bell and Canvas, I really like this brand because they make very comfortable fitting t-shirts. Like, oh, almost one of the, the best brands out here. I highly recommend Bell and Canvas. And if you would like to uh, purchase any of these shirts on Amazon, I will leave a link in the description if you guys also just want to support my channel you know support me and everything that i do i would greatly appreciate it if you you know use my affiliate links we're gonna go ahead and use our ruler grab our ruler 
and measure the size of the logo. Probably start from about right here. And I think I want to put it, make it pretty big on the shirt. So I might, you know, come actually a little over. And then I'll, I'll go over about 10 inches. So I'm going to plug in 10 inches wide on my laptop. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, guys. So we got our design right here. The one that we made from my phone. Click on it, press insert images. All right, and go to width. Ten. Now, some of you may be wondering why I didn't measure the height. Only because this is the only design that I'm putting on the shirt. So I just wanted to make sure that I had it at the the width that I wanted. The height is not too much of a big deal to me because this is the only design and I don't have to uh, make any arrangements with that. All right, so we got our, well, just so you guys can see it, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So this is a design. I think it came out pretty good too. Love the way it came out. So, oh, and if you guys are wondering why I chose Slay, because my, my wife is actually a hairstylist, so it definitely relates to her. So we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. <clears throat> okay. And we're gonna go ahead and mirror the image. When you're using vinyl, unless it's a certain vinyl that you have to do otherwise, you always mirror the image. When you're using heat transfer vinyl, always mirror it. All right, so I got the width, I got the height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut eight. All right, so instead of a pen, I actually, I seen something in a video and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I actually never tried it this way. Use your exacto knife. I'm gonna go about eight and a quarter with the exacto knife and I'm gonna go ahead and go straight down. Hold on, let me get it. Eight and a quarter, I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna line. I'm gonna line my uh, ruler to go straight straight down. Let me go down one more time. I did the trick. Wow, I did the trick. All right. Could have been a little smoother, but still did what I needed it to do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place this on our Cricut mat. Reflective side face down on the mat like always Put it across Line it up Make sure it's sticking All right, and we about to get the cutting get the cutting All right, so here's our cut All right, so we gonna go ahead and start weeding out cut start at that all right guys I can't lie to you uh, when I was when I tried to peel it the first time the whole thing started coming up so that's how you know that you needed to add a little more pressure so I went back and put it luckily I it was still in place in the same exact place where I had it so all I had to do was just apply even deeper pressure which I went with glitter iron on because the glitter is a little thicker so that way uh it knows that it needs to do a, th a thicker cut so now it's good now it's ready to go i got my edge hold on it's not it's not trying to peel up for me all right i got my edge and now it's coming coming together all right you do an even motion an even, even motion. Even. 
Even motion. Even motion. And get as much as you can. And then just go back a second time with your with your knife. And get all the rest of the excess out. the inside letters get everything out everything out all right and here's our cut so let me show you guys first oh. let me move this out the way so you can see it see oh. <laughs> Joy this fire man I love it I can't wait to apply it all right here we go all right, guys, hitting y'all with a different view. Let me, let me know if y'all like the, the POV or the third person better. I just wanna to, want to try different ways. All right, so we gonna go ahead and get all the moisture out of the shirt. Got my Cricut Easy Press 2. All right. You don't have to do the whole shirt, just do the, the part that you're applying pressure on. Got all the moisture out. All right. And we got our design. I'll show it to you guys again, man. I'm loving the way this is looking. Loving the way this came out. I can't wait to see how it looks on the shirt. So what I like to do when I do my shirts, I don't use a t-shirt ruler. Never invested in one. I don't think it will actually be very useful for me. That's just my personal preference though. So I basically align it. I look at the bottom of the shirt to the very middle where the collar of the shirt is. Let me bring y'all in a little closer. So like I said, I align it and bring it down just a little bit. And I align it with the collar and the shirt the bottom of the shirt. After messing with it a little bit, I got it perfectly in the middle, how I desire. Let me let you guys get a close up. Yeah. So that's exactly how I want it. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my, my sheet, place it over. I already got my Cricut Easy Press hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. Set to 320 degrees for 20 seconds. Place it over there. And right here is where you apply major pressure to your t-shirt. Two, one. All right. Put that down. And what I like to do is turn the sheet on the other side and then apply pressure one more time. Guys, this process is so easy. So easy. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Two, one. All right. And I'm liking the way it looks already. It says with this reflective paper, you can either do a warm pill or a cool pill. I think I'm gonna do a, let me see, let me test it. You can do a pretty warm pill. So 
So with this reflective paper, you can do a warm peel. That was only about, I say maybe like in between five to 10 seconds later after I pressed it, able to do a nice even peel. And here's what I got for the shirt. Slay. Just do that thing, baby. Yes, sir. And then it actually came out really good. I'm really loving the way this reflective looks. I love the effect that it gives. Let me just hold it up for you guys. It gives a great look. Oh yeah. All right guys, so you guys seen the final outcome. Slay, just do it. Man, yo, this joint was actually fire to me. That joint, I really love the reflective vinyl. The reflective vinyl, this was, like I said, my first time using it. And it, it just, it gave all the vibe. Giving everything it's supposed to give, y'all. Man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys apply pressure to your own t-shirts, your own custom personalized, man, that's the word I should've been using the whole video. Personalized Nike gear. Cause you personalize it to yourself, for yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Man, yo, keep running up my videos. I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. You know, I got, I have my own plans, but if you want to see anything in particular, leave a comment down below. And if you guys ever have any questions, you, I, I already been answering questions on previous videos, but if you guys ever have any questions, need any assistance, be confident, yo. Don't, don't be ashamed to comment ask questions don't be ashamed of yo you, and you got to remember that all throughout life never be ashamed to ask questions no question is a dumb question because the more knowledge you have the more access you have to life that's facts i appreciate you guys if you're new here i ask that you please join the family please join the family man we're just going to continue to go up from here subscribe to the channel and after you subscribe hit that bell notification i want you guys to to know exactly when i post a new video as long as we're in tune we're gonna we're, we're gonna be all right yeah but guys yo y'all be blessed and remember always apply pressure to life because life is limitless let's get it we out